Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we're getting it all in Bolotron Galaxy, yes, the sequel to the sequel to the sequel that we didn't know we needed but we are getting. And once again, this was developed by Cool2 Interactive, published by Desert Water Games and is available to you for just £4.19 slash $4.99. Slow, so, slow. So yes, the Ballotron series is still in full force. Forget about your Silent Hill 2s and your other stuffs. This is where we're at. This is the stuff. Uh, so just like in previous games then, obviously our goal is to hit one ball to the other and uh, job done. Obviously a lot of uh, sort of lucky sort of random generated stuff in this one, but it's generally not too bad. Overall, it took me about 36 minutes. Um, again, achievements, as always, are just for reaching up to level 18. We only have to play 17 levels because we only we get the full achievements for reaching up to level 18. Um, but yeah, so all in all, even with the RNG stuff, this should only take you between 20 to 30 minutes or so. So with that being said, then let's do it, man. So let us begin with level one, obviously. And then what we're going to do is use the blue ball in the middle. Press the A button on it, pull it to the right with the left stick. Nope, to the left, to the left of the left stick. That's the one. And then just give him it a whack. So obviously, you can actually hit the green or the blue ball. Um, obviously, it, if this is the first time playing, you can hit either the green or the blue ball. Uh, with this one, you can see in the top left hand corner, you need to make it sort of as straight as you can. Uh, so obviously, now it's obviously worth just looking at the numbers. Um, so whenever I am shooting the ball, uh, make note of the numbers at the top there, because honestly, just being one or two, you know, uh, numbers out can make the difference between it going well and with the run going pretty terrible. So, uh, this one will take a bit of a while, but again, it is the sort of, <laughs> obviously it is a bit more randomly generated again, purely because of wherever the ball can bounce. But eventually it'll get there. So there we go. There's that one. So just nice and straight and then hopefully wait for it. With this one, we're going to pop this one at the top left-hand corner. Pop this ball down and so it's uh, looking more towards the left of the ball. Now again, you need to sort of be quite lucky in terms of hitting the um, bouncy boy. But if you get that, in the again, that took me a few tries. Uh, with this one then, right-hand side ball and you're going to hit this. Again, always checking the numbers. And as long as it's on about that, those particular numbers there, give it a whack. And then again, this is another one where a lot of the time it should end up uh, hitting the top and hitting the, the ball at the top. But as you're going to see for me, it's going to hit... Uh, again, I'm going to be lucky with this one. And it's just, it's just going to give me the little... The, just enough momentum to hit the ball at the top going through the bottom but yeah normally that would probably go at the top so on to the next one then and again we're going to hit the uh, top ball right there and again just follow the numbers can, can be it may, may take a few seconds to adjust it but once you've got it right and again it's always just checking the numbers 160 to 1188 uh, give that a whack anyway, and then again, like I said, it can. Now, this one is supposed to be more chaotic. It does start getting a little bit more chaotic, but somehow I managed to absolutely miss that. But what would normally happen is everything starts flying as it does now, and then hopefully you'll end up meeting in the middle or something. So for this next one, again, we're going to hit the ball on the right. We're going to make it as straight as we can, and then quickly head down to the left bottom blue ball. And then you just need to get the timing right with hitting it straight up. And then once you've done that, that is that. Again, that took me a few attempts purely because the timing was, well, I was pretty crap at it. Okay, next up, we're going to whack the ball. And again, we're going to hit it as straight and hard as we can over to the right-hand side as soon as the blue wall nips off. And then it should just be sucked in by the magnet. So then we can go up to the... Uh, next ball here next to the green ball in the top right hand corner and again you're just going to give that a 
again a, a fairly hefty whack basically in the middle and then that should no <laughs> I again got lucky with that one but you're supposed to just try and get that in the magnet in the middle and then that'll do that next up we're going to hit the ball for in the middle blue ball straight up with the magnet so straight through to the magnet and then quickly hit the left ball into the green and then that should give it then a little bit of momentum in order to get the both balls going and eventually they should meet somewhere in the middle after being slowed down by the magnet next up hit the bottom blue ball and again you're going to give this a bit of a hefty whack again just check the numbers um and sort of go you know it doesn't have to be exactly the same but pretty much roughly and then that just start floating to the middle of the magnet now again this one took a few tries just in terms of momentum um because the first three or four attempts they uh, the green ball kept going up uh, but luckily that time it went straight in the middle with onto the next level then we're going to hit the ball on the left and again just check the numbers and then once you do eventually there it is so once you got those numbers down hit that ball up and that should start um, getting a bit chaotic then over to the right hit the green ball and again we're basically hitting it over to the right hand side of the green and then I mean really it's just a case of uh, it is just a case of waiting as everything starts getting a bit mental um, but again you should have enough um, momentum off the springs and everything in order to get that done okay so on to level 11 now we're going to hit the green ball as straight as we can on the right hand side so as hard and straight as we can now what normally would happen i got lucky with that one but when, what would normally happen is um you would just need to wait until the green ball it would basically go back down the other side and then come back and then you would hit it with the blue ball um but again sometimes you get lucky like i did and hit it straight away so uh yeah so on to level 12 we're gonna hit the bottom ball out of the two right there um again just check the numbers make sure you're following that number sort of roughly to the t as much as you can and then immediately go to the bottom hit the green ball again check the numbers as you can as well and then that should hopefully give you enough momentum for both balls to be flinging and slinging about and then that'll be another job done on the next level, make sure to grab the ball from uh, which is sort of uh, closest as it was swinging towards you. And then, again, get that a little bit further down and that should hopefully go as smooth as it can for you there. Again, I realise it was a bit quick. Um, but sometimes that's just what happens with it when you get lucky. Hit the ball in the middle this time with the blue ball. And again, just checking the numbers right there. And we're going to hit this uh, relatively uh, pretty triggly. And again, this is another one that could take you a few attempts. Now, with that one, I found you had to get the numbers pretty much bang on there in order for it not to hit any of the other blocks. With this one, grab the uh, blue ball, which is at the bottom, which sort of flies towards the bottom, and then give that a little whack. And then hopefully that sh the green ball should fly over. You could do it to the blue ball opposite as well, but I found it more effective to hit the green right there. On to the next one, again, do the numbers. God, I sound like uh, Mason from Call of Duty. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Do the numbers, Mason. Ah! Anyway, again, do the numbers anyway, Mason. Uh, with the blue ball here on the left. Give that a little whack, and that should... Now, this one took me the most, just in terms of how stupidly crappily it went. Now, what would normally happen is the blue ball would uh, uh, get a bit of spring off and hit the green in the upper right hand corner but um, for me it just went absolutely mental like that and got I got lucky um, but a lot of the times it ended up going back into the top left corner so that was frustrating so with these two then you just need to hit these a little bit hard not too slow but not too fast once they have moved out of the way hit the blue ball there at the bottom so that it springs Okay, I did get lucky with that one. Um, I didn't do the blue ball hitting as best as I could, but as long as it is in to the uh, next to the magnet, you're then able to hit the green ball and smash that one out of the way. Uh, but again, you're mainly trying to get the 
blue ball next to the magnet. But there it is. That's it. So, go. Wow, well, boy, time flies when you're having fun, don't, don't you? Doesn't it? Yeah. So there we go. That should be 10 out of 10. Now, obviously, as always with these titles from Desert Water Games, expect two, three, 27 title updates in the near future, of course. Uh, but for now, this is the full 1,000 out of 1,000 for the time being. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Check out my newest podcast. It's all about true crime with gaming called Gaming's Darker Side. Thank you so much again. I'll see you in the next one. Big love. <laughs> <laughs>